Hey guys, Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures here with Erica today. Hi guys. And we're just back in Toronto again. We're coming to the uh, Outdoor Adventure Show and coming to check out some stuff that's really, really up our alley. And if you're watching this, it's probably up your alley too. So uh, hope you enjoy the show. We're gonna see if we can find you some new products, maybe some uh, outdoor uh, celebrities and uh, have a little bit of fun today. Enjoy the adventure. You know what? We'd have we'd have a hoot out there for sure. We might die. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unless you got your uh, your tractor for it, right? So they can find us. Well, oh, that's right. That's right. That's true. Well, good. So, uh, yeah, these are the kind of people we're going to meet at this show. If you want to see some of Kevin's uh, annex and some of his great canoe trips and adventures that he's done out there, tell them where they can find you on YouTube. Oh, KC Happy Camper, and just ignore the Gary the Puppet. It's wrong. <laughs> Funny, but wrong. And the one thing that I like too, and it's a lot early days because I imagine your daughter's all growing up. Oh yeah. She's in high school. High school. Well, oh this, is, this is one of my babies here behind the camera right now. And the fact that you get her out on adventures, I'm getting Eric out on adventures, and it's always a good time, you know, having family with you and, and close friends. Oh yeah, like that. So yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome to meet this guy. Finally, first time I've ever met him in all the time, or all the years I've been following him. So, Kevin. It's a Great. pleasure, man. Thank no, you very no much. Thank you. And keep the books coming because yeah. I love your canoe routes and your documentation on that. Great. It's always great to follow these things and kind of know where you're going. Kind of. Okay. Yeah. Kinda. I know. <laughs> well, good. Thanks, no. guys. Good, good luck with you, too. <laughs> This one here is the uh, the Packer 13.5, 13.6, and it's a little little less stable, right? A little less stable. Well, I thought that would be a little fun. on land, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, run into to me a bit of a celebrity on uh, from the YouTube world. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the Joe Robinettes and Sean's, well, this is Doug, Doug Linker uh, from the YouTube channel. Doug, Doug Linker. Doug Linker. That's right. Uh, Go ahead, tell us a bit about yourself. What do you like to do? Uh, I'm just an uh, outdoorsman. I uh, like to camp and canoe and fish and cars. Uh, ch check out his channel, Doug Linker on YouTube, and I'll tell you, you'll enjoy it. His carvings are way cool. I love them. Like that style is so cool. Uh, his adventures, his trips, and a very genuine guy from what I've seen from what I learned on, uh, on YouTube. Videos. Try to be. Yeah, for sure. And a guy with morals. Kind of like that. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks. Yeah, no, not at all. And then uh, 2017, yeah. Just uh, to let you know, Gubba Luke's Gubba, also known as Kaim Hipster. If any of you are on Instagram uh, or Facebook, you can add Fort him. Yeah. To the pot Has lots of good info there. Hey guys, 
guys, uh, I'm here with the legendary Canadian canoeer, uh, author, Andrea Wilson. <laughs> Daughter Alexis. Daughter Alexis. Uh, Hap Wilson. Uh, the one thing you probably don't know about me, now I got, I, I've been recently challenged by a fellow YouTuber to tell three things that they don't know about you. Right? And this is one thing you don't know about me. I have one tattoo on my body. And that tattoo is actually artwork that was done by Hap Wilson. And this tattoo's been on my body for well over 25 years. And I finally had the opportunity to, to meet Hap and his lovely family here. Now let's get, so I didn't do that tattoo. He had he, somebody else. He didn't do it. He, uh, he actually drew it in one of his books, which you can buy in many bookstores, obviously, right? Uh, so this is actually a great opportunity opportunity for me to have met somebody that I've actually idolized for many years. So to, to accomplish that is a good thing. So you know what I mean? Hap's got Cabin Falls Echo Lodge and he offers Echo Tours, is that correct? And Andrew, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's yeah. very much part of me. It's called being starstruck, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So would you like to tell them a little bit about that? Uh, hey, uh, well, Cabin Falls Eco Lodge, yes, that's why we're here, really, uh, to sell books. And uh, we have a, a very unique um, Eco Lodge in the Big Evans Park. Park. And uh, we, we've had families, uh, international photographers, basically going up and sometimes connecting with uh, real wilderness, um, just getting those, those master shots of the eight waterfalls, old growth pine. And, uh, our place is sort of a conduit for people who want to reconnect and connect with the wilderness. And we're so uh, lucky to have this place. And it's our sanctuary as well. And we're not taking roots of that. That's cool. Um, I was just telling Hop that an experience that I had with my wife and my family many years ago, which has kind of put the brakes on my wife, actually, can you trip her with me? This might be a good opportunity for me to reintroduce her into something like this. So I'm going to gather some information. I'm going to put uh, information in the description below so that you can check it out online. You have a website. Uh, you can check that out online and uh, get some information for yourself. Maybe this will turn out to be an adventure of a lifetime for yourselves. Thanks, Hap. Excellent. Andrew, sure. thank you. Alexa, nice to meet you. Thank you much. All right, guys, I'm here from uh, Agawa Canyon uh, Saws. I'm here with one of the owners, Graham. And uh, if you watched one of my past videos, you'll see I've done a review on these saws, this one in particular. One of the best saws you'll ever buy, right here. Okay, so go and pick yourself up. How'd you guys come up with this idea? Well, we'd used some of the other products that were on the market, and uh, there were some deficiencies here and there, and we liked some things about others, and so we kind of pulled together everything we liked and uh, figured out a way to make it happen with the product. Awesome. You know what? The thing, tension's perfect, cuts through wood like butter. Uh, I did add a little tip on my video, and you may have seen this before, but I've taken the extra, extra seat books that they included, and I taped them right here. So you're never going to lose these things because they're actually taped to your saw, and if you need them, they're there. You don't have to search for them. But I've never actually lost them, so it's a great design you guys got here. Thank you. And you've got what? Three partners, three partners? Yeah, three partners. Three partners. So check out the Agua Canyon. You're going to love this saw. It's Canoe Hound approved. How are you doing, Jerica? Having a good time so far? Great time. Lots of different things to see and love watching my dad fangirl and all his his uh, inspirations that he's meeting. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, embarrassing. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, so found myself another YouTube celebrity here. We got Scott from Adrenaline Adventures and his son here. They're out here checking out the adventures at, uh, I guess, Swift Canoes. Yeah, well, you just got the adventure show. This is one of the first booths we had to go check out, right? Very good. So tell my viewers a little bit about your channel and we'll do a little cross promotion here. We'll get them over to your site. Oh, sure. Uh, you know what? I'm just uh, an outdoor channel, like, uh, like a lot of people filming their adventures in the outdoors, passionate about it document the best I can and uh, you know hopefully people get inspired by it. Good times. I know I've watched like many many of your videos and uh, you know you, Doug, Joe, uh, Sean, you know yeah. these are all these are all some of the bigger names in the area for uh, for these YouTube channels. 
I'm working my way up slowly. I'm, hey, not, I'm not up there at your level yet, but you know, I'm hoping one day I will. And then maybe uh, something will get a nice channel going here. Have you got one going yet, bud? Uh, no, I'm just tagging along with this one. <laughs> there you go. You probably need parental uh, permission for something like that, right? So definitely check out his channel. You'll avoid, enjoy his adventures. He does everything from mountain biking. Uh, he's got a, a series going on now with his winter hot tent. Uh, he goes out there with his Bichon. Beachless. Beachless. Yeah. Two dogs that go like 90. Yes, okay. they do. Uh, not like my dog. She's more yeah. mellow, laid back. But uh, yeah, and he's got his adventures going out there. He gets out on canoe trips. Uh, I believe I've seen a couple with their wife. Even. Yeah, we just, me and my wife just did some dog sledding in Halliburton Forest. And we did that was some, a good episode. We did some ice that climbing. That was cool. Yeah, we did some ice climbing videos coming up next. Nice, nice. Yeah. And that's the adrenaline adventure. So check out his site and we'll see you in a bit. All right, cheers. Thanks, Thanks man. Much right. appreciated. Erica's always got a flair for the fancy, and she found something fancy. All right, guys, here we are with another great Canadian-made product. You know I like to support Canadian, and I'm here with Ingo from Kid Products. And basically, you've seen in some of my past videos uh, me actually cooking with my quick stove. And that is a kid stove. So I'm gonna get Ingo to tell you a little bit about this and maybe a quick setup demo to show you how this thing sets up. And then uh, we'll do a full product review on this within the next couple of weeks. And we'll have that live and posted as well. Yeah, no problem, Dennis. So today we have the uh, stainless steel stove. We actually make uh, three different materials. Uh, um, the stove out of three different materials. Stainless steel, of course, is great. Uh, titanium for lightweight and full gold which is one of the preferred metals of makers. And that'll make it so basically it doesn't work with It heat. doesn't work, um, yeah. And then stainless steel, of course, it doesn't rust, which is awesome, right? It doesn't rust. Uh, Paintings free. My stove lives in my backyard uh, all year. It doesn't rust. And um, yeah, just a few little parts here. Oh, there's a little curvature here. You always want to make sure you have a little curve here because that puts attention on um, the water plate. Squeeze it right here. Okay. And it's really solid. So now it won't fall apart. Solid is underneath it. This is the only stick stove that actually has a door. Uh, that's to maintain the heat after, after you cook. And during the cooking, of course, you want to keep some sticks in there. And uh, we have um, cross tracks. You can use these cross straps in the bottom. Put your frying pan on there. Now they put the gaps down here and that brings the flames up. And then we heat up on a stove on a frying pan or on a coffee pot. The more you heat up, the better it is. Right? You can also use in a fire pan. We get a lot of questions asked, what are we going to do in a fire pan? Well, you have these two cross straps, you put one on the inside, and then use either open those pumpkins, gel containers, you can get at the hardware store, or these brand gel containers, these are great. That's what I like to use, the yeah. Trangia style alcohol burning stoves. Yeah. So that one fits right in here on top of these uh, little cross bracket, right? door in so you don't have the wind going in and move the flames around, right? And then just insert your, your second uh, cross strap. You know, that's a perfect height for the uh, flame to hit the bottom of the pot. You always want to hit the bottom of the pot. That is your heat transfer, right? Right on top of here. And fire band, okay, we're still covered. All right. Very, very now, aside from using the trangias, you can use uh, fire pellets. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called. Yeah, you use those in a container. Yeah. But what I like to do is I like to cut a piece of wood, roughly the height of the actual stove itself, and then I'll quarter that, and it creates like uh, what do they call it? Swedish fire stove. That's correct. And you light that on the inside, and it, and it gives you a nice long burn, and allows that heat to come up through the center of the, uh, yeah. the stove itself. In our little flyer here, we actually have the scenario yeah. right here. Yep. And, and I, that I, gives you the longest burn. Yeah. I, I find it very effective. Rather than throwing twigs in and trying to fit twigs in, yep. you can cook a meal on something like yep. that, and you're only doing one or two cuts. So here's a little trick. Yeah. If you cut these little branches that I bought that thick, cut them the length. Uh, half of the length of this, 
cut it, order it, and that's the perfect pipe. It'll go underneath the cross There you go. There's a little trick. Can you help learn something? Lots of tricks on this. That was such a That's awesome. Time. So, Ingo, like I say, I, I love your product. The fact that it's made in uh, Canada and Burlington, Ontario. Yeah, oh, we are, the, the company's in Oakville. Our head office in Oakville. Awesome. Right awesome. on uh, in Burlington there. So, you know, I like the shop comedian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And you were going to say? Um, you, you have not got the uh, toaster yet. No, I we haven't got a toaster. And here's the toaster. We actually have a little toaster unit that fits right on here. There you go. You put your toast on here, and you're toasting. And when you're all done with it, empty it out, cool it off, and the kids can play house with it. That's correct. Right? There you go. But Mal also, you yeah, have a heat unit. Yep. Oh, cool. A grilled sandwich. Yep. Mm -hmm. You just add a little feature. That's awesome. So there's empty spots in the store. Sure. So remember people, made a moose land, remember, shop Canadian, whenever you can, if not, maybe go to the neighbors down south, and then go abroad if you have to, but you don't have to when you got quality products like this, so, very good, Ingo, thanks very much. Thank you very much, enjoy your store. Great. Just, just talking with my wife, and, uh, you know, with any big expenditure, you should always run it by your spouse, and I'm fortunate that I have a very loving spouse, and very understanding, and very supportive. So I sent her a text and I was talking to her about uh, about the Swift Canoe and she's giving me the two thumbs up. So we're going to head back to Swift Canoes and we're going to see uh, what we can do about uh, putting my behind inside of one of these Prospector 14 Packer Canoes. Now back at Swift Canoes I meet up with Scott who is more than happy obviously to take my order for my canoe. Uh, we're just going over some of the details here as to the, the canoe that I've actually selected, which as I mentioned is the Prospector 14 Kevlar Fusion Packer Canoe. Let's have a look at this beauty. that people a Algonquin Outfitters stole my uh, my logo actually my logo is based off of this Algonquin uh, famous Algonquin Park uh, portaging sign uh, you'll see these all over Algonquin Park and because I do a lot of canoeing I found it to be very inspirational and I kind of based my logo off of it uh, with a few additions of course with Molly on there and my canoe hound adventures and that's why I have my logo <laughs> So guys, Eric and I had a really good time here at the Outdoor Adventure Show. Uh, I got to meet some real celebrities. Uh, celebrities of my own right, but I'm sure a lot of you will know who they are. And uh, got ourselves a few great deals, come across some great Canadian products. And I managed to, you, to uh, I guess, dump the bank load into uh, buying myself a new canoe something that will obviously pay off in the future when you guys get to see me on solo trips and things of that sort. So, Erica, I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Yeah, and you can expect to see Erica in many more of my upcoming videos. So, with that being said, uh, this is Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures and... And Erica from... Uh, no. Canoe Hound Adventures. <laughs> and remember people, wow. keep, keep the adventures, adventures alive. alive. Thank <laughs> you.